Hey, Watcher Thinkiverse, and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we will talk about microorganisms and copy pots. So as you can see, it is bustling with life in this tank. And one of the telltale signs that we often you know, recommend and encourage uh, breeders to actually look at is microorganisms and copy pots. So microorganisms and copy pots, like for example over here, you can see this, there's a lot of different types of uh, microorganisms and copy pots that is actually bustling around the uh, gravel and one of the things is that we, when we take a look at this tank it means that the water quality the water conditions are favorable for the streams to breed and be in the streams are actually fairly new in this tank they are actually a day old in this tank so they are not reflective of whether the tank is uh, in good condition or not so we do not look at a stream at this point of time. However, when we look at a copy pot or microorganism perspective, then this tank is ready for the streams. And this is uh, one of the things that we actually look at. And how do we actually introduce the uh, copy pots or microorganisms? From the very beginning, you will not be able to actually get all these uh, microorganisms and copy pots. The reason is because it has to be introduced from either from other tanks or from another person who actually have them. So one of the good reasons is, one of the good ways to actually introduce them is that if you have a tank, a current tank that you actually have copy pots and microorganisms, you can actually siphon uh, the water to actually put that into the tank. Although they do not, although the water do not contain beneficial bacteria, however, if they do contain microorganisms, then you are in luck. And one of the things that we actually do to actually encourage more microorganisms is to actually introduce biofilm into the tank. Because feeding the tank is very important for us rather than just feeding the streams. Because when we feed the tank, the microorganisms actually help to create a ecosystem that is conducive for the streams to be in. Regardless whether is it for breeding or is it for the streamlets. Copy pots, as you can actually see over here, in, if we're going to stir this tank a little bit, you can actually see that there are a lot of them bustling around and they are actually looking for food that are actually within the soil. So you can actually see that the, the streams are actually hovering around this area and so are the copy pots. However, it, you can actually see that you know, uh, as we start, start to stir this, you can actually see that there's a lot of life that is actually uh, moving around. Uh, we have to turn the lights off to actually take a look at it using the back lid of the light from the, uh, from the back to actually show you the, the amount of copy pots that is actually residing over this small area. There are actually other areas that have a lot of copy pots as well and microorganisms, but we are just focusing on this particular area that you can actually see that there is a lot of life passing around. And this is one of the telltale signs that uh, we, we consider as a tank that is ready and uh, the water parameters is ideal. Regardless of whether there is a green wall or there's no green wall, when the water is ready, the water is ready. So like I've mentioned, how do we actually uh, continue to breed all these copy pots? And all these copy pots actually have a lifespan of probably around 30 to 45 days, some 60 days and then they die off. And where do they go? They actually become food for the streams. These are very good protein for the streams because the copy pots actually converts and consumes the uh, excess um, food in the tank and convert them and you know, when they die, the streams actually consume them as well. So if we, we can actually have about three to six months of um, microorganisms in the tank, the tank will be very, very uh, stable and is very conducive for the streams to breed. If you have been following me and you have watched the uh, Brother Streams video that we have taken, he also mentioned that you know, microorganism is something that is very, very critical in the stream breeding hobby. And this is something that is not often talked about. Um, we always talk about the uh, water parameters, we always talk about you know uh, all these hard, hard water values. However, we are not sure or we are not uh, able to actually test whether there they are microorganisms or not. However, from 
observation, we can actually see that there are a lot of microorganisms. So I'm just going to stir this tank a little bit more to show you guys the, uh, the amount of uh, activity that is ongoing. So we do not have uh, seed streams uh, over here. Uh, however, all these are like rotifers. These are all like cyclops. So these are you know uh, microorganisms that actually you know consume the uh, organic waste of the of the tank and then convert them into food for, for the streams eventually when they they kind of like die off. So you can actually now see that there is a lot a lot of uh, copy pots in in the tank. And this is uh, something that we actually uh, try to have in the tank as well. So any tank that actually have these copy pots in all the tanks or the hundred tanks that uh, more than a hundred tanks that we have, anything that have a copy pots in the tank, generally the tank will try very well. And one of the things that they do better is that while we are feeding biofilm uh, in the tank, the uh, additional light source will actually also help to increase the uh, prolific, you know, the, for for the bio, I mean, for the microorganisms to actually uh, breed faster. So it is also one of the ways that you know we try to look at and see whether the tank is ready or not. So as we as we pan over to the other tank, you know, I have another tank on the right side, uh, which is the uh, Black King Kong. This tank, however, you no, know, do not have any copy pots. It is almost clear. I'm just gonna quickly just turn off the light here. And then you can actually see that there is actually no copy pots in this tank. Or very few, there are some, but very few copy pots like what we have seen uh, on the last tank. So what we are actually uh, trying to share over here is that, you know, copy pots are actually very uh, important part of the uh, water column. So what we can actually do is that we can actually take a, a net and then move some of these uh, copy pots to the next tank. So for example, over here, we do not have any copy pots. So what we're gonna do is that we know that the tank on the left has a lot of copy pots. So we're just gonna take a handful of gravel. They are actually very small and you know, you can just put them and then you can actually see that some of these copy pots are already in the tank. So this is how we actually introduce uh, copy pots in the tank. And the more you add, the better and the faster it will actually produce. Um, so how much is sufficient? So I think nature will have its way of actually you know uh, controlling all these numbers. And uh, what we can actually do is just to make sure that we introduce them in the tank uh, have them fed, you know, make sure that they, the tanks are actually fed uh, so that the streams can actually you know, benefit from all these uh, microorganisms as well. So the Calyx ball actually helps to provide food for the microorganisms as well. So that is where the, uh, you know, um, the entire ecosystem, the cycle will actually help to drive the uh, breeding cycle and uh, the stability of the aquarium or the stream tank. So over here we can have another tank, we can actually see that this tank probably would have some or maybe not as many as the first tank um, because this tank is relatively old already however I believe that you no, know, uh, I've seen them you know swimming around in the last few days however you can actually see that it is still again not as much or as many as the first tank. So what we can do again is to introduce a lot more in this tank as well so that you know we're gonna introduce you can actually see that there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of microorganisms that's being introduced in this tank and it will be uh, very beneficial for the entire uh, tank eco ecosystem so I hope you guys have enjoyed, you know, uh, or learned something from this video in terms of uh, microorganisms and uh, copy pots. And you know, if there's any questions, please feel free to write in the comment section below. And until next time, peace out.